Hi, my name is Bohal Rahmedov. In this video lecture, we are going to discuss about the equations of the lines and the planes. And also we're going to talk about the problem to identify whether a line is above the plane or below the plane. But first of all, we need to understand what is the equation of a line and why we actually need such an equation of a line. So you need to understand the equation of some line as the map of this line. So essentially, you need a map in order to know how to reach a certain location. And in the same way, we are going to need an equation of a line in order to know how to reach the points on this line. So conceptually, it's if you are given a line, what you want is you would like to know how to go to any point on this line. And the equation is going to tell you how you can do this. So more technically, what we're going to do is if you are given some vector v and some point x0, where, uh, we, can, we, we can basically build this vector x minus x0 by just scaling this vector, by just multiplying this vector to some constant, by just making this vector longer or shorter. So we can construct the equation of a plane in the same manner, but again, so our motivation to construct the equation of the plane is to know how to reach the points on this plane. So we would like to go to any point on this plane, and in order to do this, we need the equation. And the idea of constructing the equation is if we are given a vector, which is going to be a normal vector to this plane, which is orthogonal to this plane, and some point on this on this plane, then this vector from this point to this to this point x, so from the x0 to the x, is going to be orthogonal to the normal vector. So basically x minus x0 times as a scalar product to this vector n should be equal to the 0. So this we call as the equation of a plane, and this we call as the equation of a line. So now we are going to talk about the lines and the, uh, and the planes and their connections. So whenever we are talking about whether the line is above or below the plane, we should, uh, we should mention that this, is, uh, th this happens, or we can talk about this only if the line and the plane are parallel. Right? So if a plane is not parallel to the line, we can't really talk about whether the line is above or below the plane since they're going to intersect at some point, at least in 3D. Okay? So a line should be, should be parallel to the plane so that we can talk whether the line is above the plane or below the plane. So when the line is, uh, is parallel to the plane. So let's, let's consider again the ideas of the vectors on the lines and the normal vectors to the planes. So if you are given a line and a vector on this line, V, and at the same time, if you are given a plane And the normal vector to this plane, and the normal vector to this plane, and so if this two objects basically, if the line is parallel to the plane, then these two vectors should be perpendicular, right? So let me let, let us fix this. So if a line L, let's say, is parallel to the plane p then this vector v is orthogonal to this m so only in this case we can talk now whether this line is above the plane or below the plane so we can identify whether the line is parallel to the plane by just multiplying the vector on the line to the normal vector of the plane and check whether this is equal to the zero or not. So now the idea. Oh, oh, let, let's do. Let's start doing the example, and we will come back to this uh, to this question whether the line is above the plane or below the plane. So in the example, uh, we are given a line with the with the parametric equation. So x is equal to the zero, y is equal to the t, 
and z is equal to the t. So this is called the parametric equation of the lie. So we can express this as a vector equation. So any vector equation is going to be given as x is equal to this vector. Basically, x is any point on the line is equal to this vector with the components of those vectors or of those points on the line. And this is equal to 0, t, and t according to the parametric equation of the line here. So we can take out the t from the vector, and it's going to be 0, 1, 1 times to the t. So if you remember the template of a general vector equation of a line, it was like x is equal to x0 plus vt. So basically, if you compare this template of a general of a, of a vector equation of a line with this equation, we can we can know that the v vector, which is on the line, is going to be equal to the 0, 1, 1. And by just scaling this vector, by just making this longer or shorter, we can reach any point on the line. So let's assume at the same time we're given an equation of a plane in this way, so 5x minus 3y plus 3z is equal to the 1. So now, so we call this equation of a plane as a general equation of a plane, and and the normal vector can be found using the coefficients before x, y, and z. So in general, if you are given equation of a plane like ax plus by plus cz, cz is equal to the d, the normal vector to this plane is going to be half is going to have the components a, b, and c. So accordingly here, the normal vector to this plane is going to be 5 minus 3 and 3. So we've got this v vector, which is on the line, and we've got this normal vector, which is orthogonal to the plane. And that should be orthogonal so that the plane and the line are parallel. And we can check the orthogonality by just multiplying the v transpose to the n. So let's do this. It's going to be 0, 1, 1 times to the 5 minus 3 and 3. So we are going to multiply t vectors as orthogonal, so as a scalar product component wise. So 0 times to the minus 5, 1 times to the minus 3, and 1 times to the 3. So it is going to be 0 times 5 plus 1 times to the minus 3 plus 1 times to the 3, which is equal to the 0. It means that v is orthogonal to the end. Okay, so now we know that the line, given line, is, is parallel to the given plane, right? So the line is parallel to this plane. Okay, so how to identify whether this line is above the plane or below the plane? So whenever we're saying above or below, it means that we need to choose the two points on the line and on the plane and compare their z coordinates, right? So the idea of identifying whether the line is above or below the plane is to find one point on the line with the components x, y, and z. Well, let me call this as a z1. In one point on this plane, p1, with the components x, y, and z2, and compare the z components. So please note that x, y components of this point are the same as x, y components of, of this point, right? So it's, it, it would be more fair to compare the points with the same x, y components, and compare only the z components to, to know whether the line is above or below or, or on the plane. Okay, so we're going to discuss this a little bit later, why, how we choose these two points with the same x and y coordinates. Now let, let's discuss a little bit like why it is true, right? So basically, if you are given a three-dimensional space here, and if on this three-dimensional space you're given a plane, let's say some, something like sloped plane, right, and the line, it would be not so fair to choose one point here on the plane and one point here on the line. So basically P0 here and P1 here and compare the Z components. So probably the Z component of the P1 is going to be smaller than the Z component of the P0, 
even though this this plane is above the line, right? So it would be more fair to compare the point or to take the point P1 here so in, in, in the same XY plane kind of, right? So this is the idea why we're going to take X and Y components of the two points on the line and on the plane equally. So now there are three different scenarios depending on the comparison of the Z1 and Z2. So if the Z1 is bigger than Z2, it means that the line is above the plane. So if Z1 is equal to the Z2, it means that the line is on the plane. If Z1 is smaller than Z2, it means that the line is below the plane. Okay, so this is the concept how we're going to identify whether the line is above, below, or on the plane. So now let's discuss how we are going to do this technically. So we are given a line with the vector equation x is equal to 0, 1, 1, t. What we are going to do is we are going to choose any point on this line by just assigning some value to the t. For example, let's assume that t is equal to the 3. In this case, a point on this line is going to have x coordinate to be equal to the 0, y coordinate to be equal to the 3, and z coordinate to be equal to the 3. So this is how we're going to choose a point on the line, right? So by just assigning some value for the t, for example. So now I'm going to get this x value and y value of this point on the line, and I'm going to assign this to the equation of the plane. So basically we're given an equation of the plane, which is 5x minus 3y plus 3z is equal to the 1. What I'm going to do is I'm going to say x is equal to the 0, y is equal to the 3, and find the z from this equation of the plane. So let's do this. So it's going to be 5 times 0 minus 3 times 3 plus 3z is equal to the 1. Right? So this minus 9 goes to the right. It's going to be 10 on the right-hand side part, and z is going to be equal to the 10 over 3. So the point on the plane has the following coordinates. x is equal to the 0, y is equal to the 3, and z is equal to the 10 over 3, which is 3.33, right? So now we are going to compare the z on the plane and the z on the plane. And we see that the z on the plane is bigger than z on the line. So that is why the plane is above the line or the line is below the plane, right? So the answer here is the line is below the plane. Okay, so please know that x and y coordinates of this point and this point are the same. So it is really important part here. So let's do an example where the line is going to be above the plane to see the differences. So let's say I'm going to get again the same the same line. So x is going to be equal to the 0, 1, 1 times to the t. And I'm going to change the equation of the plane. For example, let's say we are going to compare this line was the plane 6x plus 2y minus 2z is equal to the, um, to the 4, for example. Okay, so please note that this, this vector and this plane are parallel because if you multiply the v vector, which is this v vector, of a line to the normal vector of a plane, which is 6t and minus 2, they are going to be equal to the 0, the scalar product, I mean. Okay, so now next thing which I'm going to do is again, I'm going to choose a point on the line, but let's just assign the t to be equal to, to the zero, for example. Okay, so in this case, the point is going to have the components x is equal to the zero, y is equal to the zero, z is equal to the zero. So I'm going to get the x and y coordinates of this point, and I'm going to substitute this to here, to the equation of a plane, in order to find a corresponding z coordinate.
So x is equal to the 0, y is equal to the 0. If I substitute this to here, what we get is 6 times 0 plus 2 times 0 minus 2z is equal to the 4. And if you find a z from here, it's going to be equal to the uh, minus 2, right? So minus 2 times the minus 2 gives you 4. So the point on this plane is going to have the coordinates x to be equal to the 0, y is equal to the 0, and z is equal to the minus t. So now if we compare this z coordinate of this point on the line and this z coordinate of this of this point on the plane, so the z coordinate of the plane is smaller. So that is why the line is above the plane. So here is how we are going to compare the lines and the planes when they are parallel by identifying, first of all, whether they are parallel and then by comparing the z-coordinates of the points which have the equal coordinates, x, y coordinates.